All right, what is going on guys? So today I'm gonna to do a little unboxing video. It's been quite a while, I think, since I've done one of these. So yeah, we're gonna do one. I've just placed, well, about six days ago and that's just turned up, an order at uh, Soda Spot Fiski in Sweden. Uh, probably like my new favorite place to order stuff from. They've got such a good choice of lures and lures you can't really get in this country. So yeah, got a nice big box for you today. Excited to open this. Uh, so yeah, we'll get right into it. A few, um, few new lures in here. A few slight like, ones you can just get in Sweden. So yeah, I'll get this open and uh, show you guys what I've got. This is like stuff for my autumn, autumn and winter fishing really. So yeah, I can't really remember everything I've ordered or how much it costs, but hope I'm hoping there's an invoice in here so I can show, try and show my address. Get rid of that. Right, I've got an invoice. So everything that I ordered altogether, including shipping, was 121 euros. So yeah, decent amount of money. But yeah, we'll get right into it. Uh, so on the top, we've got a couple of soda stickers, which are pretty cool. I'll probably like to put them on a box or on my rod. I like putting stickers on my rod. Uh, so yeah, a couple of stickers. Not real lures, but nice stickers them anyway. Um, next one. Completely forgot I ordered this actually. Um, it's uh, you can get these over here. I don't know why I ordered this. So uh, Savage Gear Shallow Burbot. Um, yeah, I've, I actually was gonna. I've been wanting to order one of these for a while to do a video with. Um, and I guess I ordered one from Sweden. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'll probably do a video, you know, like exclusively fishing with that. Not really a Swedish, well, it is a Swedish company, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, shallow burbot. So there'll be a video out with that one day. Um, yeah, that's the first layer. I've got another one that you can get over here pretty easy as well, so I'll go through this. I only got this one because it's on sale. Um, and that's the Storm Rip Seeker. Um, now, I don't think I've used these in a video before, but I've had... I'd probably say I've had five or six fish on these, and out of those five or six fish, I'd say four of them have been double figures. I've had two 18-pounders on these, I think. Right, in the period while I wasn't, you know, filming videos. So, yeah, good big fish lure for winter time. Rip seed. I think that was like four or five euros something like that uh, six euros so yeah like half price at least so cheap that's why i got that and it's a good lure as well so there two lures out of the way next one this is kind of two in one sort of territory um i've got another so that's on mctail this is a golden shiner one uh super nice like motor oily color good for like impersonating a rud or a tench or a bream sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome looking. And to go with that, it was like it was like a deal. You buy this and then you get the big big tail kit with it. So two big black and gold tails to go on there. When I did my um, McTail video, I had loads of people asking me to get some big tails for it and saying it's like dynamite fishing with that. So we've got some big tails and we've got you know it's pretty good color match. So. Yeah, that's the third layer, and these tails. These are awesome looking tails as well, to be fair. Not lying when they say big tails. <laughs> so, yeah, three layers down. Uh, next, what have I got? Another sticker. Shield sticker, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so got three stickers there. These, again, I didn't really need to order these from Sweden, but then, it, uh, then again, uh, they're not really out in this country yet, even though it's more of a British company. But I've got two of the new jointed Fox Rage Pro Shads. Um, been wanting to do a video with these since I saw that they were bringing them out. So, yeah, ordered a couple. Uh, 23 centimeter and 18, I think. So, yeah, expect a video with those guys as well. <laughs> That's bigger than I expected that. Nice deep profile on it and uh, very jointed. 
So yeah, I'll figure out some rigs for these and I'll definitely film a video with them too. Look awesome. Pretty cheap as well, I think. Next one, another lure I forgot that I ordered. <laughs> um, another storm lure. This is the T-Bone. Um, if you watch Pike Bite series, they use this a lot on there. Um, this is the 18 centimetre, the bigger size. I had the 14 centimetre before, I didn't really use it. Um, it was a bit small for me. So yeah, I got this one. Black and orange, which is a bit of a bit of a weird, unique colour that, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd work well in coloured water. That's why I got that. So yeah, expect a video of that one as well, <laughs> basically. Uh, if I remember right, the 14 cinema one used to tangle quite badly. So I'm hoping this doesn't do the same. But yeah, cool concept. Hopefully get some nice fish on that one. Right, a couple more layers left. Not a huge amount, but we'll have a look. This is... Yeah, I've made a few, quite a few videos with my Strike Pro Guppy Junior. So I decided to step things up and get the bigger size. This is quite massive to be fair. 135, yeah, 13.5 centimeter body. Uh, and with the tail, it's 22 centimeters, 120 grams. So that is pretty big to be fair. Um, I want to have a look at this bad boy. Super cool looking pattern, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I don't know what this colour pattern's called, but it's nice. <laughs> I love the glide on these guppies, so I had to buy a bigger size. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful. It's like, uh, I don't know, dark perch, nice white belly on it. Hooks are nice and sharp anyway. Big tail on there. Man, that's going to get me some big fish this year. That's for sure. It's kind of see-through as well, actually. That's pretty chill. Obviously, guppies come with a, a little paddle as well. I've not actually used one with a paddle. I like them that much with a big curly tail. Well, little curly tail on them. But yeah, bigger size guppy. Have I got a rat? I've got a little bit of a rat. My small one doesn't have a rat. There we go. Yeah, next bait, guppy. Big one. That's gonna be a big big fish bait this winter. I'm feeling feeling a 20 pounder on that this year. Nice 110 centimetre pike, that'd do nicely. So yeah, that's the next lure, the guppy. Again, probably do a video just with that. Um, and then just use it in general fishing. Stuff like that. Try and put it back in with that crushing tail. There we go, so that's the next lure, the guppy. Beauty. Love, love the black glide on those. And I've got some spare tails for it as well. They didn't have the exact colour match, but these motor R ones are pretty damn similar. So yeah, three spare curlies, one spare paddle because they get chewed up big time. So yeah, that's the next thing. Final lure. Um, never used one of these before actually, but it is the Eastfield Wingman Shad. 21 centimeters, 80 gram. Uh, this is, I think this is a soda custom color. It's uh, musky. Yeah, soda motor oil musky. Looks super nice on the uh, picture side to buy one. So, ooh, it's nice soft material on that as well. Yeah, nice looking shad there. Not sure if these are hand poured or not. I mean, it's, it is from an open palm mold, as you can see, but yeah, these might be hand poured layers, which is pretty chill. Nice soft plastic on that. Nice pattern. Yeah, I'm actually kind of looking forward to using that, to be fair. <laughs> look, how, look how soft that tail is. It's going to have some right action on it. So yeah, that's the last layer in the box. The... Um, Eastfield Wingman. 21 centimetres, 80 gram. So it's not massive, but it's not a tiny lure either. Get big fish on it, get small fish on it. Probably ring it, rig it with like um, two one arch rebels, something like that. Maybe just one. See what it looks like to be fair. 
that's the last layer anyway. Um, one more thing in the box, and it's a basically it's an IKEA bag, <laughs> but it's uh, it's a Svart Sunker Wasteling for five. So I don't really have a wasteling. I just weigh them. Well, I don't normally weigh them, but when I do weigh them, I usually just do it in net. So yeah, fit some pretty big pipe in there. Yeah, decent size. Obviously, don't weigh much, so you don't have to really take much off the weight of the fish. So yeah, that was like two euros, something like that. So super cheap. So I've got a ton of new layers, ton of new layers for videos, for you guys, for me, for, uh, you know, a bit of experimenting. So I've got tons, tons and tons of stuff. I can't even carry them all. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, there's, there's kind of a glimpse of what videos might be coming in the next couple of months or weeks or whatever. Um, another new layer I've got, I had this sent out from um, AD Woodchucker, a lot of people in the UK know that is quite a famous angler. Uh, but it's set, I've never even heard of these, to be fair. I think this is like a new release from Strike Pro, but it's the Ghostbuster. It's like a deep running, another version of the Buster. Um, looks to me like it'll be like a uh, lipless crank, crankbait kind of thing. But, very rattly, so probably be a video of that as well. Um, looking at it now, I think that might be nice as where are my tails gone. I think that might be nice as a tail bay. What do you think? Put a big old curly tail on that. I think that would look pretty sweet. Nice big presentation of sink deeper than most tail baits as well. So yeah, there's that to look forward to. Hopefully, anyway, we'll see. And I've also, might as well show it to you while it's here. We do a lot of vintage lure challenge as well. So I've got this one so far, I might get some more. I'm not gonna show you any more of that. Gonna look forward to the video, aren't you? But yeah, basically, tons of new lures for tons of new videos. So yeah, that's it guys, just a little unboxing. So thought some of you might be interested uh, to see like what might be coming up in the videos. What the lures, what lures I'm getting, what everything costs and all that stuff. So I might as well do a little quick run rundown before we finish things off. Storm Rip Seeker, six six sixty euros. Spare Guppy Tails, four seventy. True Glide Guppy, twenty two euros. Wingman, um, nine fifty. This larger size, Johnny Pro Shad, 620. McTail was 18 euros, and then the spare, the tails that came with it was seven. T-Bone Shad, 760. Berber, 15 euros. And then this smaller size, um, Fox Shad, was five euros. And this Wasteling, one, one, one euro 40. 14 euros shipping, 21 euro, uh, 121 euros altogether. Doesn't look like much, but I'll get a lot of fishing done with these. Make plenty of video. I'll get like at least like 10 videos out of all these lures. So yeah, worth it for me. Uh, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed if you like unboxing videos and you get a little insight of what might be coming in the videos in the future. So yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Plenty of videos to come. Lure fishing, we're going to be doing some bait fishing this year. Um, going to try to get a little series of dead baiting for pike. So, yeah, plenty to come. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next video. Subscribe. Yeah, see ya.